Today's video, I'm going to show you one of the best strategies to be able to stop any kind of bunch strong type of formation in Madden 24. These are just quads formations. A lot of people are going to these now. They do a really good job at beating man coverage, one of the main reasons why people are in them. They also have some unique different types of corner routes and crossing routes that are very effective. But in general, in my opinion, there are some limitations to what a formation like bunch strong can, can do. And we're going to give you a defense here today that's going to be able to slow it down. Now, if you want to learn my entire $1.32 defensive ebook, it's all available by becoming a Patreon member. Patreon members are only, it's only $10 a month, and you're going to get access to all of our offensive and defensive ebooks and all of the updates that we drop throughout the course of the year to those. We already have over 15 different offensive and defensive ebooks, including the dollar defense that has had a ton of updates to it over the course of the Madden 24 season. That being said, if you want to get a, become a Patreon member, the link's going to be down in the description. Let's talk about bunch strong nasty or bunch strong in general and how to kind of counter the formation. So a couple of things really right off the bat here is we are going to be rocking our auto flip defensive play call off and we're going to be auto aligning to base against this formation and we're going to be in a match coverage uh, type defense. Now, one other key tip is if you look at the safeties here or uh, if you look at the packages, we're going to be using the safeties package. Don't use the free safety sub package. It is not the most optimized way to run this. You want to be using utilizing the safeties package. Okay. And then we're going to be in coverage press. Again, auto flip is going to be off. Okay. So how do we stop this formation? There's a couple key things that this formation can do. One of the key things that it can do is it can beat man coverage really well. The second key thing that it can do is you have um, stuff like this that's really, really hard to defend where you just have these four strong. So you can have uh, little drags, little drag, a little uh, trail concept backside. Another very popular play here, this wide trail, where we go with something like this. This is a really, really good combo because everything is starting to the, to the right and then it's coming across to the left side. So we can't just load up on our coverage to the right. One last setup here. Um, actually, I don't think I have the wheel routes, unfortunately. I think I have tight and vertical in this, um, but, um, you can also kind of run some wheel routes out of this as well. Okay, so how do we how do we kind of counter this? What can we do to stop this? Here's what we're going to do. We're going to pinch our defensive line and we're going to go ahead and press. Now, my opinion, I always recommend if they're going to run the bunch strong, generally from what I have seen online, people are going to try to put the bunch to the short side of the field. If they do that, you want to back this to this cloud flat off and it will do a much better job of defending corner routes. Let me explain. We're just going to kind of run a basic deal here. I'm going to spy the rush, but I just want you to watch. I'm going to hard flat this guy just to illustrate. Um, I just want you to watch this corner route to Cooper Cup. You're going to see this corner route. Um, it can get open for sure, but oftentimes that cloud will be able to stay up, up top. For their, The only reason he didn't is because the player got bumped. Obviously, you could put zone drops on if you want to as well, and then he'll always go back there. That's kind of up to you. The one issue with bunch, um, in my opinion, though, or with, with this formation, in my opinion, is in order, the, the best way to blitz this formation is to use this cover two LB press blitz. So we're going to take this linebacker and we can blitz him. And this blitz will pretty much always be available to you. So you'll see right here, look at how uh, this, this little four man come through the A gap. A lot of times it will come completely untouched. And we show you in the Patreon how to make that blitz a little bit better than what you're seeing here on your screen. Um, but this, this blitz is really, really, really good. As you can see right there, um, if they're going to be sending five out, you've got a really good chance at this four man coming in. That being said, how do we structure a coverage behind this defense that is going to make this, uh, this, this, this effective? So, uh, what we're going to do is we're going to actually go ahead and we're going to shade underneath and then we're going to recloud this outside cloud flat. So on the left hand side here, we have a hard flat and a vertical hook that are shaded underneath. Most of the time when people are running bunch strong nasty specifically, and really generally most bunch quads type formations, this is a pretty good little adjustment to stop what they're doing on the uh, left-hand side of the screen. And then what we have the ability to be able to do is with this safeties package, we can take this, um, this safety here in the middle of the field and we can go ahead and drop him into any zone in the middle that we want, like a deep blue zone, a deep middle third zone, we could drop them into a deep, uh, deep zone to the left, really any of those type of zones. The beauty of this is we can have our hard flat on the outside as well. So what I like to do is mid, middle third this guy, and then I'm going to take both my outside corner or safeties, 
and put them in outside thirds to their sides. This now allows me to be really aggressive underneath with this vertical hook that's shaded underneath, who typically will go guard uh, flat routes and stuff of that nature, okay? Now you are sending four, so we're trying to get some pressure here. Obviously, we're not gonna get perfect pressure every time, but a lot of times we will get pretty good pressure. So let's say they run a route combo like this, for example, this is gonna do a pretty good job. That backed off cloud and that vertical hook in your user over here allows me to muddy stuff up, and you see that that deep corner route was covered. Now, if we ever wanna truly cover this a little bit more um, accurately, what we can do, and this is gonna structure us for a couple different things, but what we can really do here is we can hard flat this guy. We're still gonna back that guy off and put him on a cloud. And then with this vertical hook, we can either man him up on circle to stop the RPO, or we can leave him on the vertical hook. The beauty of this version of the defense is we have an extra person in coverage. Everything else pretty much is the same. So we're still gonna use those outside thirds in that middle third. And on the back side here, I typically am gonna hard flat this guy. So what you'll see off of this is this will pretty much completely bag any kind of flood concept to that side. And you are uh, sending three, but you see with that man up, really the best player in Bunch Strong is the, the circle receiver. He's on all of the really good routes. So this is uh, my favorite way to defend this formation. Again, something like this. And then if you want to, you can use or you can um, man this guy up on a circle. And then from here, you can either A, leave it like this and just know I'm responsible for the flat. You could leave the pressed clouds as well. That's another option. Um, or B, go ahead and hard flat this guy. And then before you man up circle, you would back off the cloud. I think I accidentally messed it up because I manned him up. But anyway, you would back off this cloud. We'll put him in a quarter just to kind of get the idea here. But what this will do against like a play like wide trail is now they're running their play into you. So you don't have to worry too much about this running back wheel. It's a little bit of a harder throw than it's been in years past. You can obviously run to it. You're going to go drag the trail. And then you see you've got that guy over the top of the deep third. This is a really good way to defend bunch strong nasty or bunch strong offset this year. Really the best thing I could, best advice I could give you, man up that circle receiver. That's gonna be very helpful. And then utilize the outside thirds. From there, it really becomes a chess match of are they running their tight end on a deep corner or are they running their tight end on a wheel or are they running their tight end on a trail? If they're running, their, if they're running the double corner concept, let me uh, kind of try to illustrate this as best as I can. But that man up of circle is going to take away that. And then you've got the deep guy over there at the top. So typically what they're going to eventually go to is really something like this. And that tight end will be on a little bit deeper of a corner route. But again, you're rolling that outside third over the top. And you have some help on the back side. And you have a, a nice little blitz that can cause a lot of trouble for the quads formation. Thanks for watching the video, guys. If you want to get my entire dollar three two defensive ebook to become a better Madden player, you get access to all the ebooks by being a Patreon member. I really think dollar is the way to be playing right now. This gives you the best versatility defensively and allows you to have some pretty decent blitzes. Thanks for watching the video. To sign up for the Patreon and get all of our ebooks, head down to the description and go click the link down below.